Three for just nailed it and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, which means this is my docu series learning acrylics. Um, hope you've been following along with me last year. We are into I think our second video of the year, maybe our third. I can't remember. But today we are going to be playing with um, some acrylics by the Nail Junkie. I am a brand ambassador for her. Which means I have a discount code. I have a 20% off discount code. It is Nailed It Queen. I will put it across the bottom of the screen here. The N and the Q are capitalized. Everything else is lowercase. But today we're going to be playing with Cherise. Got her groove back. The Nail Junkie Evie names an acrylic after all of her ambassadors. And this one is mine. Look how beautiful that is. Purple is my favorite color, as she knows. Look at that shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? Well, we're going to be pairing that with... I need to get a black acrylic. A black shimmery. I have this, which was made by... Her name was Girls for Nails. Joanna, she's out of Missouri. I think she's recently changed her name. And if that's the case, I don't know what it is. And I've got some acrylic balls in here that I need to get out before we can continue. Let me fetch these out of here. Make sure, this, make sure there are no more in here because you don't want acrylic balls and you're trying to get them in here. You just can't have it. Um, only one nail is going to be black. So that's besides the point. You, you want to have a nice smooth acrylic application. So that means you need some nice smooth acrylic. So this is the black we are going to be using. I think this is beautiful. Um, neither of them are hollow. Hello, Erica. It's been a while since I've talked to you, honey. How are you? Um, Erica is the daughter of Neil Crazy Mama. Check out her channel. If you haven't subscribed to her already, please do so. If you haven't ever checked out the Nail Junkie, go check her out. Um, she's the one who makes the acrylics that I use. You can learn so much from her. Um, of course, you may see me off to the side here burping my brush, which is what you want to do. I have already got the overlay on the nails. So, which means we are going to dive in with our color. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that a beautiful purple? So, I'm going to drain my brush a little bit. Apply it to the nail. Oh, I said last week we were going to be going back to the flexi hand, didn't I? Whoopsie. I kind of forgot about that. Well, Harley's not really ready for company. She needs to be washed. She's been sitting out on the shelf for a couple months now, and it's been a while since I've used her. So, you know, she needs a bath, she needs her hair crimped and crap, crimped, crimped, crimped and propped. Not that Flexi Hand has any hair, but I'm just saying she needs, she needs to be washed and bathed and dried and I forgot. I forgot. So maybe next week I'll get on the ball and um, get that done. So we can bring her out to play. I just love this purple. Just love it. Tuck your sides in. Tuck your sides in. I'm going to feather this backwards a little bit. So we have a smooth application there. To hold it down so that gravity takes over and it flows down the nail. I am helping it just a smidge. 
I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tap, tap, tap. Tuck your sides in. Tuck them, tap them, push them in, whatever words you want to use there. So I'm going to tap the end. Hopefully I have a smooth application here. Isn't that beautiful? One nail done, four more to go. So now we're going to jump over to the black. I probably should stick with all the purples at one time, but I'm not going to do them all on camera because of time. I'm going to drain my bead. Apply it to the nail. Hopefully gravity's gonna take over and let this baby flow. Flow, flow, flow. Hope everybody is doing well so far this year. As well as that can be expected. Bring your sides. Keep them on the nail. I like to keep cleaning my brush out a few times during the application. Because when I first started, it was probably normal for everybody. I could clog up a brush like it was nobody's business. And you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to have all the acrylic built up in your brush. and It's just not something you want. So I'm going to let this continue to flow down the nail. Help it just a smidge here at the tip, which we're going to end up having to add another bead. And that's all right. We're gonna have to add them by the cuticle as well. So, push in your sides. Tap, tap, tap. I have a little bit of a bubble going on here in the center. Not something you want. It's not something I can pick out of my nail. Ugh. So it's a little frustrating. So I'm gonna put this up here by the cuticle. So I can darken it just a little bit. Change our monomer here. Let me check out this nail. I do want to push the sides in just a little bit more here. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, we are done with our black nail. We're going to go on. I'm going to add some more of my monomer. I do use me a secret. It has got a new cap. Inner cap, I should say. Oh, it came out. Hold on. Let me see if this will... Oh. Shoot. Well... I thought it was new, maybe it's just supposed to be part of the cap itself, I don't know. I'm going to fill my dabbing dish up here. We can continue. Alright, alright, alright. 
Let my nail down a little bit. I'm gonna continue on with the purple. This is a very small bead for such a large nail. Keep your sides tucked in. Gravity flow. The other two nails, <clears throat> excuse me, I will do off camera. Like I said, just like all the file and the buff, and I'm not going to do on camera at the same time. I can see over here at this corner. Let me see if you can see up right there. It's looking kind of bare. So I am going to go in there with another beat. Oops. Almost went for the clear. I do need to put a clear on top of those. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna go in with another bead. Drain it. I'm going to feather backwards. Sides pushed in. Let gravity flow, 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 flow. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Let me need another bead at the tip. Ring the bell, click all, that way you get notified of all future videos. I'm not completely satisfied with this nail. So I am taking, sorry to be off camera, another bead down here at the tip. Another backwards of course, so you have a smooth application. I'm gonna rinse my brush. So off camera, <clears throat> I'm going to do the other two nails, I will put another layer of clear on, and we shall be back. Alrighty, we are back for a brief moment. I have put the clear on these two nails, I am working on the other three, and then we are going to buff, and, okay, file and buff. I think they turned out really, really super cute. I love how oh, they turned out well. Hold them at different angles. Check out to make sure your nails are smooth. Especially when you're filing. I think they turned out really nice. So these colors are Shree's Got Her Groove Back in the black. I don't recall the name. It is by... Her name was Girls for Nails. Joanna out of... Missouri. I called her my Missouri girl. If you punch in Girls for Nails, I'm sure her new channel will show up. So go check her out. Check out the Nail Junkie. She does, the Nail Junkie Eva, Evie, she does such beautiful work. She has um, got the, the group, the um, Humble, what are they called? The Humble Nail Technicians. Uh, which I do belong to. Like I've said before, I am a brand ambassador for the Nail Junkie. And please use my code. Every seventh time my code is used, she will sponsor a giveaway. 
No giveaway has been sponsored yet for my channel, which means my code has not been used yet seven times. Which kind of bums me out because she's got great, great quality acrylics. She's got wide variety of colors. They are great, great products. She's got a lot of other things on her. On, on her. She did have a storefront. And she, <clears throat> excuse me, on Shopify. But it's like under construction. You can contact her directly on Instagram or Facebook. The Nail Junkie Chica. And place your order. And she can go over, you know, prices and colors and everything with you. Put another bead down here at the bottom. I am going to feather this backwards. It just turned out really, really pretty. Got to clean my brush. Always have your brush clean. It is a must have. A must have. Just tuck it in back here at the cuticle. Let gravity start to take over and let the acrylic flow down the nail regardless if it is color or your clear. It's just beautiful. I, I just love this purple. She went above and beyond. I mean, I know she does it for all her ambassadors, but I just, I love it. I think it's really beautiful. And I feel honored. Just a big bead here. Gravity flow. Clean my brush. You brush downwards like this, and when Diana, Princess Nails by Diana, Diana, when she taught me or started teaching me to do acrylics. You are not supposed to like place your bead and start wiping it on the nail. You are supposed to like gravity take over and let it flow itself. You can help it down the nail. But don't take your, your, your bead and like place it at the top and just start wiping down the nail because then you're just like building up the acrylic in your brush she said. So tidbit of info to pass along to you. I know there are ladies that are following me that are learning right along with me. So I'm going to clean this out. Yep. Definitely got some acrylic filled up in the bottom of our dabbing dish. So you know the acrylic videos always turn out to be longer and I'm sorry for that. We are going to let our nails set <clears throat> and then it will be time to file and buff. We will see you later. Alrighty, we are back. I have filed and buffed these three nails. We are going to do these two on camera. You always start with your sides. File straight on. Get up here. And then your tip. Tip is always last of the three. Then
Then you do your tap. Try not to be heavy handed and I am, which is like my big downfall. Something I've been trying really hard to work on. But I am heavy handed. I, I just, I don't know, I always have been. Then you take your buffer. Over your whole nail. This will smooth out any marks from the brush file. And it shall be smooth. Shall we done that? Filed above them. So let me move those. Do our last nail. These were stilettos that I cut down. I figure this week we'll stay away from the stiletto nail, so to speak. I mean, I do like a stiletto, don't get me wrong. A few more area to work on, I feel. That's why I like them. But that's just my opinion. Give it a good feel. Go in with your buffer. Okay, I'm going to remove those items, put those over here. Give us a quick other dusting. Straighten them out, straighten them out, straighten them out. Now, I'm going to remove my paper towels, my newspaper. So out here a little bit. So here we go. Here's our Manny. I think these are beautiful. And you know what time it is, ladies and gents. It is time to top coat. So today I have pulled out of my cabinet. It is a mini, a mini, mini. By Model 1's Leaf U UV LED gel polish. This is the top coat. And it's a tiny. You can't even call this a mini. This is like a tiny. But I figure I'm going to start using them all. Look how this just comes to life. Tap your, your nails. You see the hollow. The blues and the purples and the pinks. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like one side of your brush off. Whoops. One side of your brush off real well. Go down the center. Down each side. Try to even these out. I think these are just gorgeous. When you're putting your top coat on, try to fan your brush out. It makes it easier, spreads it out better for you. I'm going to go ahead and cap the top of all of them. 
I know I keep saying this that they turned out beautiful, but I think they did. I think this is a beautiful glitter mix. Acrylic mix, I mean. And I'm not just saying that because Evie named it after me, which I thank you very much, honey. I think it is beautiful. Oh goodness me, oh my, where is my wax picker up? I just need one. Just want a couple of these gems. I need to find my double-sided tape. I like the black matte on top of whatever color, but... I don't like it slipping and sliding. Now, you know I'm going to put a little bit of black on the nail. So I'm going to pop these on, and then I will straighten them out. You can see what I'm doing. If you can, I'm very sorry. I think I need one more. Just one more. There. Lined up sometimes is just the bugger. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Here we go. I'm gonna pop these in my lamp, which is a 108 watt lamp. The folk here is 30 seconds. I invite you now to subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, subscribe to my channel, click the bell, click all, that way you get notified of all future videos. Sorry I'm parched and I have a tickle in the back of my throat, if you could hear. Let me comment down below, let me know what you think of my glitter mix that you named after me. Cherise got her groove back. And then we used the black, which I can't remember if it's called Nighttime by uh girl for nails i need to look up her new channel i didn't know until like yesterday that she had a new channel i thought she was taking a hiatus from um life from, well, i shouldn't say from life but from youtube for a little bit so i guess she's back so let me check my nails we are finito 30 seconds in the lamp. See how beautiful these are? These are. These I think are just stunning. So use my code the next time you decide to order from the nail junkie and her acrylic. She's got poly gel out now and I cannot remember for the life of me what else. She's always got some little doodads and bobbles and some stickers. 
but check her out. I'm sure she's going to have the store back up and running in no time, but, you know, contact her directly either on Instagram or Facebook to Nail Junkie, and you might want to put Chica after it, but if you put in the Nail Junkie, she's going to pop up. Contact her, tell her Just Nail that sent you, and place your order. Again, my brand ambassador code is for 20% off. It is Neil the Queen, and in the QR capitalized. So, go enjoy yourself some acrylics. Hope you've learned something here with me today, or you're just following along for the fun of it. I appreciate your love and support, your presence, your comments, any suggestions you may have for future manicures down the road. I am open to suggestions. Um... So leave me a comment, DM me on Instagram, just.nailed it. Also on YouTube here, I have a community tab. So go to my profile, and at the top there will be the community tab, and you can leave me messages there. I have asked there for suggestions, and I don't know if anybody's put anything yet. I'll have to go check that out myself. Well, thanks for being here. Have yourselves a blessed day, and thank you.